um, the righteous will live by faith. So uh, my faith based on the, uh, the Bible of what I believe God's word be, I have to live out the faith that I believe that God wants me to live according to the words that he spoke. Now, um, many people, I believe that the, the Bible is a representation of the word of God that uh, Jesus spoke. And that's the word of God that men have been inspired by the Holy Spirit to write out the word of God. Uh, of course, uh, I'll be known that in my faith walk, I uh, government has given me specific Bibles to, to say kill yourself in them in paradigm form. They were molested. They weren't the word of God. With that aside, that's why I really don't read the Bible anymore because they give me fake Bibles but wanted me to kill myself. But ultimately, greater America, I don't know that America, that government has that much time to give you uh, versions of the Bible they want to give you. Now, uh, as far as the righteous will live by faith, you again, you have to do that which you think God wants you to do by His Word. You have to live according to His Word. Maybe not to be a pharisaical letter of the law person, but I think that Jesus uh, gave a lot of paradigms in parable forms so that you would not be a letter of the law kind of person, but you have a, a number of paradigms that you would get from one story and try to conduct your life that way. Because maybe not uh, one glove fits everyone. Living by faith, there are different varieties of faith. What I usually fall back on is like this. I could, so I can read, the truth will set you free. Some people will say, well, that's Jesus. He's the truth. He's the word. Is that not right? I can't argue that. Yeah, Jesus is the truth. And in context, someone can say, yeah, well, Jesus will set you free. Then they think that, you know, in their faith that Jesus will set them free. I have been, uh, my faith telling the truth. Telling truth will set me free. If I just, I'm always honest, even with my heavy crosses. If I tell the truth, I'll be someday set free. Now, uh, am I going to tell someone that, no, Jesus isn't the truth. He doesn't set people free. Well, I'd be wrong. In my faith, it, I do believe that telling truth will set you free. And maybe people will say I'm wrong. Um, what, as far as I proclaimed it off my uh, porch, I have been tortured by Obama mental health government. You know, Obamacare he took over uh, medical institutions. Uh, Obamacare, everything's under Obamacare. He took over mental health so he can use it, weaponize it to go after people. Uh, their data don't agree with Democrat politics, his politics. Enemies of the state, he can use, uh, of course, big tech to show them as a loose cannon with their satanic de-state practices and big tech toys. They can drive them fucking batshit crazy online. Acting like they're friends, fake profiles, gossiping, lying, finding what pisses them off, using it uh, very strategically. Piss them off. Make them look like a loose cannon. We need to take away their Second Amendment rights. They're conservative. That's how it was set up. And they're in a collusion with all of uh, jihadists on big tech, the big tech CEOs. Where Christianity is not represented at all on the internet. Where they can use artificial intelligence and algorithms to ultimately kill you. I get countless uh, suggestions. We'll hook you up a little boy. Well, then hook me up. I'm tired of it. Great. After you're in prison for decades, you're, yeah, it'll be enrichment, a little boy, to come into my cage. Well, so let's go back to it. 
righteous live by faith. The thing is that uh, God's word, I don't know the exact words to it. I haven't, haven't given, given government Bibles. Bibles I did have, they ripped out the binding and put new in it. It says something, I, it's something to the effect that government, God institutes government. Evil or not, God puts governments in control. We are to, oh, if it's honor, or be subservient to, I don't, um, I'm trying to look for the word. I don't want to lead you astray. I'm in politics. That allows me to, to, the freedom in the spirit to, to go after uh, the government. Say, I'm in politics. I'm mad at you, blah, 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 blah. But ultimately, I'm an American citizen. God instituted government. If I said off the porch, if they um, said that all people on Social Security have to take, oh, go back up. They tortured me with uh, drugs they knew were very painful to take. Slow release in your muscle. And it very painful months on end. Very painful. They tortured me because I was good in politics. I have this hatred. 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 For a government shot. Hatred. I was tortured. But ultimately, I love my dad. And I love the word of God. If government would force Social Security recipients to for a vaccine you have to take it I'd have to look at the word of God be wise as serpents harmless as doves well government's been trying to kill me for a long time they do all these stupid shit to, all this satanic bullshit to kill me and there's a, probably not a healthy shot it's one side of it and be uh, on the other side of as far as government you have to be kind of sub, uh, kind of submissive. I don't, I don't know what the right word. I don't know, but the one on the this this scripture on the right in my mind, I don't know it fully, but conceptually, about that I'm a citizen. God installed government. And, um, the one on the right is stronger that it, if government um, mandated that social security recipients have to take a shot then I would I would hate it I would absolutely hate it it, it, uh, it demoralizes like rape to my body but out of honor for God for the Christian God his word I have to take it I have to take it 